So this is what has come in over the weekend. We've got a big box there. Now that was that and this one here and this one here, these three here, these are uh, from auction reaping. So them three items are due to go off. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's two in each of them. There's thirteen other parcels to go off, plus this one here, which is another one through auction reaping. So there's fourteen parcels. Uh, there, there's 17 in total obviously with M3 there. Now just to help Sharon out, Sharon's obviously been up busy this morning doing some t-shirts, she's gone out now. So I decided to give her a hand and I'm just printing another two that's just come in now. So see I still play the game, I still help her out, I don't let her do all the, the physical work. And don't forget, this is just one of the home businesses that we do, the t-shirt printing. We, we've got a collection of t-shirts which we sell all over the world basically, a few of these are going over the world as you can see with that one there for example. We have to put the um, customs label on if they're going abroad. We sell quite a few abroad actually, to America and a lot of to Australia as well. There's another two bikes out there. I don't know if you saw my last one of my last videos there, with regards to auction reaping. Well, I sold the bike 15. I bought the bike 15 pounds at auction, and I sold that one for 45. So I bought another two for actually less price. I'll just show you them while I'm here. Let's go out there. Again, very similar bikes. The one at the back there, I don't know if you can see that one at the back. That's very similar to the other one I had. And this one is another Hercules ladies bike. Again, 1960s. I picked that one up for, I think, a fiver. And the one behind, I think, I picked up for £8. So even cheaper than I bought them before. People obviously aren't realising there is good money to be had in them. So that is just another two which I've got there. Uh, as you can see, along there before, there was a row of lawnmowers which have now all gone. Very good profit to be made on them. The one I bought, I think I told you in the last video, the Honda, the, the Harry lawnmower, which I think I paid £45 for, that sold for £143, very good profit. And since then I've also got, let's take you through here, this isn't all that's going out today, I'm going to take you through into, this is our main kitchen, let's go through into my other kitchen here, and as you can see there's another parcel there due to be picked up today, I'll tell you about that in a second. And there's actually another three there. Again, all, all gone over the weekend. These are auction reaping stuff. So it does work. I've told you it works. Now this item here, for example, I went to the actual viewing uh, of the auction and I didn't really pay no attention to it. It, it was a, a big black box, circular box, plastic box. Anyway, when I got home and I just looked online, I checked it out and it was a um, pump fuel, uh, filter for a, a, a fish tank pump. So I typed that into doing my checks the way I do, and they were selling for sort of second hand over a hundred pounds. So I paid twenty pounds for that auction. Took a chance, didn't know anything about it. I knew the name of it obviously. Paid twenty pounds in the auction. Advertised it on Saturday as a buy it now, and that sold within a couple of hours as a buy it now for one hundred and ten pounds. So it does work. That was a very good profit, and that's now due to be picked up. I think it's cost me. Six ninety nine to post via via courier, so nice and easy, easily done. Put in a box. But we do have to find ourselves keeping or collecting boxes now. So anyway, come on, Barney, through there. Go on, through there. Barney, we call him Auction Dog now. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm just going to do give Sharon a bit of a hand. She just popped out, and I'm just going to make up a couple of t-shirts here. I've done one already, as you can probably see there. I've just made this one myself. Uh, that's going with this one over here, which I'm just about to do now. And, I, well, if you don't mind, I'll chat to you while I'm doing it. So, basically, over at the PC here, in my CAD, CAD, studio, CAD Cut Studio software, all I've done there is basically brought up the image, which I've uh, had or created myself, that one I did, actually. And what I've done is sent it to the cutter, which is over here. The image has just been cut out, you can't see it now, but what I've got to do now is just trim off that and then what you call weed it out, so I'm going to do that right now. Again, nothing fancy. I can see where the image is printed out, it's finished printing, I'm just going to bring it forward. Just bring it forward. So it, I can see the image, you can't see it, but I can see the image. Just bring it up, I don't want much wastage. So there. Now what I use, this line here, I don't know if you can see this line here, in the actual machine. You put your blade in that and just draw it along and it gives you a nice straight cut look. There you go, that's brought the image off now and I've got the image on here. 
which I'm just going to take over to the table now and what they call weed out. So let's do that now. Hello? 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 So there we go, there's the garment down there. Now roughly, again, I eye this up, as I've told you before, so I know what roughly I'm looking for. I'm looking to keep the item centre. I'm looking for a palm width roughly to the top of the actual graphic, which I've told you before. And I'm looking to get the either, either, either side of the graphic in from the sleeves. So I'm pretty happy with that, where it is, and it's looking pretty straight. And all I'll do, I'll just stick that down, fold them up, fold that over, take it over to the machine, Once it's over to the machine, undo it, push it up so that the collar's not on top of the planter. Cover it up with my Mylar cover and push down and just hold it there for, in this case, 20 seconds. It's at 150 degrees centigrade heat. It's a cold peel product. Lift it up. I'm going to turn it off now. I don't need it on anymore because that's been the last one. Uncover that. Again, just give it a little flick about. This is a cold peeled product, as I've said to you. But by doing this, you do actually cool the products off very good, very quickly. If you do tend to peel these cold peeled products off when they're still hot, there is a very ch a good chance that you will lift the glue off because these adhesive backs are quite very uh, quite sticky. So always, if always follow the manufacturer's instructions. Now again, that's nicely done now, so I'm going to just pull that off now. Slowly bring that cover off, and it should look absolutely lovely. There we go, look at this look. That's lovely, absolutely lovely job. Now again, I'll just have one more look. Now don't forget the, um, the plate is still hot, and if you want, you can just give it one final press just to make everything lay down. Going to do there now. You don't need to do this, as I say, but I just do it sometimes. Five seconds, quick pass, five seconds, and it's lovely and flat. There you go. One lovely graphic there on a T-shirt, ready to go. It's already sold. Let's go and get see if you can get see the quality of that. It's a lovely quality. Look, can you see that? What well, beautiful quality, isn't it? Evolution of dance. So I've just done them for Sharon. I won't package them up because uh, that's her job. So as I said, working from home isn't all about sitting in front of your PC and trying to build many, many websites. So I do get lucky. So I still get loads of emails from people saying they want to earn a generate an automated income and they want to learn how to set up websites and put many, many of them out there. You can't really do that anymore, especially as a beginner. It's not worth it. You can't do it. Your, Google has moved the goalpost now with regards to creating auto blogging sites and stuff like that. If you want to create them sort of sites, you're just wasting your own time as a beginner. You've, you've got to become established now on the net to get in the rankings, the search engine rankings, by having good content and having people visit your site literally from all over the place. If they see you, your site being visited from one person hundreds and hundreds of times, they will suspect foul play and then they'll uh, bring, put you further down the listings. So organic listings is what the way it's going towards now. If you've got good stuff to offer, then you will get rewarded by a, a good place in the search engines. I'm in many different niches, as I've told you before. We concentrate on this business, which is printing the T-shirts and, and the various other printed goods we do. My wife runs that. She looks after that now. But again, I built that up from 2005. We started off in 2005, and we've built that. We're now in 2012. So now, over the years, we've become established. We stuck through it, we started to, to produce our goods, we've got good rankings now in, in what we do, and we get loads of customers and we're still getting ongoing customers and also repeat customers. To come in cold and to say to yourself you want to be big in the t-shirt industry and you want to make a lot of money, you will either have to throw a hell of a lot of money into it for advertising to get you to the top places where people look, or you would have to build up over a period of time. So what you've got to do is work yourself, work out for yourself what you want to be doing in the future and then start on your pathway to success. But forget about automated income 
with regards to going into the internet marketing niche and trying to jump into the get rich quick diet and fitness creating blogs and all that stuff you just will not I've got loads and loads of websites a lot of them now I'm actually withdrawing and pulling off now because I don't use them over the years they've got delisted because I don't update them it's alright creating a WordPress blog but if you're not updating it on a pretty regular basis when I say regular basis I don't mean every day you don't have to do it every day but I mean my rankings now for my internet marketing school website is, is very good it's come down over the last year since I've opened my membership site because people have joined the membership site and they obviously keep coming back to the website so as a result of that I get rewarded and I get moved up to rankings so it's not all about creating websites as a beginner and then trying to get ranked you won't be able to do that not now you used to be able to do that not now and if you buy into the idea of doing that and you're spending thirty four dollars for someone to show you their secrets well basically you're being ripped off it's as simple as that no one's going to show you their inside secrets not unless they like me and they do what I do and actually show you and back up what what they say by showing you what they do now obviously for me to say that I'm in the t-shirt business you know that's true because I've just shown you my software I've shown you my equipment you can see previous videos of me doing that you know that I, when I created Auction Reaper my DVD Auction Reaper that, that involves going to auctions or making money using local cash around you I've shown you that in videos I've shown you me physically doing that so I, I give you the proof I don't tell you to say here's my bank account like a lot of them do and you can have a a bank account's a private thing if anyone's going to say to you come and have a look at my bank account and I can make you get the same you should they should set alarm bells ringing no one's going to show you their in their right minds and that their private stuff which is a bank account okay now you see it people putting it on YouTube all the time bank account details you ask that person in the cold light of day if you saw them walking along the street say oh can I have a look at your bank details they'll tell you to bugger off they'll tell you to go away no one's going to show you that so why do they need to do it online because they want to sell you something, it's as simple as that. I'm not showing you my bank details, but you know, through my history, I've kept on and on since 2005, when my videos first started, you can watch a progression yourself. I planned it that way from 2005. It's not a, 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 a posting blog thing where I've done it every week, but every now and again, you can see I'm doing totally different things. And if you start watching my earlier videos, you will see a transition of me introducing different businesses and stuff and then different business models adapting and moving forward until you see me sitting where I am now when I first started off I was in my little other office which is a little box room basically I had to move out of there because we, we started generating other money so I'll show you what I do and that's what I do in my membership area you get to know ins and outs of what I actually do and generate how I generate my money and I'll show that to the people who for the sake of the membership fee, which again is going to be going up shortly, I'm not doing that for any sales pitch, it's going to go up shortly, full stop. That's the way I want it, and it's as simple as that, because I am giving away lots of inside secrets. I actually show you how I built other little businesses, like my uh, web business, which I started up. I started that up like that. And I've had, I've had people in the membership area ask me the inside questions on how I got going, what's the best materials to use, how do you, how do you set it up, blah, blah, blah. And that's all what I give out in the membership area. So if you're interested in working from home, I won't say internet marketing. Internet marketing is a tool I use to promote all my businesses. So I use internet marketing as a tool to generate money coming in. But my key is to work from home. And if that's what you want to do is to work from home, visit there, UK Internet Marketing School, and sign up for the membership, which is £25 at this moment. It will be going up. I said I was going to put it up about March, but I've just I've left it as it is. So it may go up in the near future, I don't know yet, so I'm not really too bothered. This is just a sideline for me, this teaching you lot how to make money and to show you what I do. My money I generate doing the other things which I do show you in my DVDs if you go back and have a look. So come and join in. You've seen the parcels I've got out just going over the weekend. You, you could be doing the same. It's, it's very, very simple once you've got someone who you can basically copy and mimic. And that is what I do. I show you that, how I do what I do using the different formulas on how the little businesses I've started up. Work from home, don't forget the time now as I'm sitting here, it's a Monday morning, it's 10 to 12. I remember what I used to do many years ago when I was at work, waiting for 12 o'clock to come, hiding around the buildings where I used to work, just waiting for 12 o'clock so I could have an hour's break, doing things with mundane tasks. So every time, as I say, I, I printed these out for sharing these t-shirts, because doesn't matter to me, I'm at home, I'm with, I'm with the people I love, my family. I'll get up when I want, I'll go out when I want, 
I could get up now and go out, but I'm not going to do that because I'm talking to you at the moment. But it all started from one DVD which I created as an information product back in 2005. But up until then, I was just like the rest of you, wanting to break out of the, in, uh, the rat race by making a fortune online because I've been told by it, it's easy. It isn't easy, it does take time. I'm six years down the line now, seven years down the line from 2005 to 2012. You can do the same, but you've got to make a start. You can do it doing what I'm doing, or you can do it with something where you've got a passion and an interest. You just need to be shown how to move forward. I get people say, oh, I've got, I can't, how do you set up a business account? How do you set up a bank account? It's not about that. Just do it, and then once you start doing what you're doing and you start enjoying it, phone in the account and say, look, this is what I want to do. I'm still at work at the moment. What do I do? He'll tell you what to do. Don't ask me them questions. I don't, I'm not really interested in, in being an accountant. My wife does the books. All, when I say she does the books, she writes down the, the money we come in and the money that goes out. Then we get all that once a year and give it to the accountant and pay him his little fee to do our books. I used to do all that. I used to have all the software, the Sage software, and I thought, I'm wasting time learning how to do this. Oh, that's, not, that's not what I want to be doing. Do what you want to be doing. Simple. Give the stuff that you don't want to do off to someone else. Because right at the very beginning, <laughs> there's another chap who, who's one of, my, one of my students, he's just joined the membership club as well. He's been itching with starting for like literally a couple of years now. And he's only now just started to get going. Because he's, he's read a, one of my posts, I think, in the forum. And, and he said, you know, he's been bogged down with the, the intricacies of trying to get everything together before he makes a start, basically. And it doesn't work like that. You can be buried in research and you'll never make a start. If you want everything to be right at the beginning, or I've got to get an account to sort it out, I need to know what to do with in, uh, national insurance, blah, blah, blah. blah. Just get the formula, start working at it as a hobby at first, call it a hobby, and as it slowly increases, just keep the receipts of money coming in and money you spend, in and out, it's as simple as that. Money coming in, money coming out, in one book. Ideally, you can have a separate uh, PayPal account, which you can deal with, and also a separate bank account, if possible. You ain't got to have a business account, not at the very, very beginning. And all I would say to you is, keep a list of your money going in and your money going out. And provided you've got more money coming in than going out, then you're going the right way. And you'll start trimming up your little business and then start to grow your business. It might take more and more of your time and you might find ways to do things easier. When I started off with a DVD information publishing business, I was burning one DVD at a time in my home PC. And after a while, I then went on and I bought a multi-DVD uh, burner because that burned seven CD, uh, DVDs or CDs in one go. And then I outsourced to a company and they, they only done a thousand, they would sell you a thousand at a time so I had to buy in a job lot of a thousand at a time and then I found out that there are other companies out there places like Kanaki where you can send them a, a, a master disc and they can burn off one item at a time as it comes in the trouble with that is it's in America so you got, there's a lot of shipping time involved in that and then there's other companies over in the UK now where you can buy a minimum of 50 at a time so you learn how to move forward when things start to take up too much of your time, you start to adapt as you go along. But you won't know that unless you make a start. There you go. That's me for now. I'll speak to you again soon. Oh, by the way, I'm off now. What's the time now? Uh, 5 to 12, as I said to you. I'm off this afternoon. Just going to jump in my car to a local auction room for a viewing day. I'm going to go down there with my wife. She walks around with a book behind me. I walk around and say, right, yep, yeah, that, 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 that. She writes the details, lock the numbers down. We come back. We do our research. And then tonight, that's one of the, that's another auction, that's where we actually got to go, we can't do online bidding on this one. So we'll be going down there tonight, and we'll know exactly what we're bidding on, we'll walk in the hall, we'll sit down, and we'll wait when the auction starts, and normally when you get to these auctions, there's loads of people milling about, and they're all writing things down while they're in, we don't do none of that, we know what we've done, we've done our research, and we go in there, and that's what we want, that's what we want, that's what we bid. we've got our bidding limits, what we're going to bid to, and it's as simple as that. That's what I'm doing this afternoon. So, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.